relationship status. You in my business? Don't do that. Don't do that. I've been drinking, I've been drinking. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Alice Cherie. If you are new here, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. If you're a return subscriber, hey boo. By the title, y'all should already know what's going on. Your girl will be doing a Q&A, get to know me. I don't think I did a Q&A. I think I just went ahead and started uploading vlogs. So I think the right thing to do is to, you know, introduce myself and let you all get to know me. So let's go ahead and get into this video. Um, I have a couple of questions in my phone right here that I will be answering. Um, so yeah. First question, what is your name? My name is Alice Cherie. First name is Alice, middle name is Cherie. It's pronounced Cherie, which is French, but everybody say Cherie, so Alice Cherie is my name. Second question. Age, birthday, and zodiac sign. So, I am 26 years old. My birthday is August the 7th. Um, of course, August. So that means your girl is a Leo. Leos do it better. And nobody can tell you wrong. So yeah, I am a 26. Birthday is August the 7th and your girl is a Leo. How tall are you? On a good day, your girl is 5'4", but on my driver's license, I'm 5'3". So, your girl is a little shorty. Um, next question. Do you have kids? If so, how many? So, yes. I do have kids. I have a total of two kids. I have a boy and a girl, a 7-year-old, and a 1-year-old. So, yes. I do have kids. Do I want any more kids? No. Two and done. That's it. No more kids. Next question. Relationship status. You in my business? Don't do that. Don't do that. But since you want to know, I guess I can go ahead and tell you. So... Your girl is happily married. So yeah, that is my relationship status. I am married. Uh, me and my husband have been knowing each other since I was 14. And like I said, I am currently 26. So you do the math. So yeah. Next question. Favorite color. I have a lot of favorite colors. And I'm going to start off by saying I like very bright colors. I like neon colors. And then one color by itself, I would say rose gold. I, I love rose gold. So, yeah. Neon colors and rose gold. Question number seven. Favorite movie slash TV shows. I don't really have a favorite movie, but a movie that I can watch, you know, over and over is Players Club. And if you haven't seen Players Club, I don't know what to tell you, but all I'm going to say is, everybody at the fucking dressing room. If you ain't never seen that scene, I don't know what to tell you. So yeah, that's one of my favorite movies. Um, TV shows. I don't really have a favorite TV show because I like reality re reality TV, loving hip hop, keeping up with the Kardashians. Hell, I even like the cooking show. Like the list can go on and on. So, question number eight: Where are you from, and where did you grow up? 
So I am from Port Arthur, Texas, um, land of the trill. Um, if you know Bumby, UGK, PMC, all them, I'm born and raised where they're from, Port Arthur, Texas. As people say, the land of the trill. If you have not been, you are not real. But now, nah, I'm just saying that's just something that we normally say. But yeah, the 409 PAT, Port Arthur, Texas. But a lot of people say I got an accent, like I sound like I'm from Louisiana, New Orleans, which I don't hear it. But we are 15 minutes away from the borderline of Louisiana. So I'm not sure if that plays a part. But technically, me, I don't hear it. So next question what are your hobbies shopping I'm a female I'm a girl I'm a woman I like to shop I like to spend money that that's one of my hobbies shopping I have other hobbies but one of my main hobbies I like to shop I like to spend money so question number two what made you want to do YouTube so what made me want to do YouTube the pandemic corona COVID Mrs. C your girl was bored actually yeah, I'm bored I made my YouTube channel the year of 2019 which when that was around the time when you know, Corona came out, so yeah. I just wanted to do something. Like I always, I always watch other YouTubers vlog. So I like to be in the camera. I'm shy, but I like to be in the camera. So yeah, that's another reason why I wanted to do YouTube. You know, just to vlog my experiences. Even though your girl is a homebody, but when I do go out, I do like to pick up the camera. You know, so yeah. Um, my channel is actually growing. I think we're almost at 180 subscribers. So if you're not subscribed, make sure you join the fam. Because if you don't, then what are you doing? You're watching and you're not subscribed to the family? Make that make sense. Like they say, the math is not mathing. But yeah, that is a reason why I wanted to do YouTube. Next question. What do you do for a living? Once again, you're my business. Hmm. No, but if you may know, if you watch my other vlogs, your girl works in a doctor's office. I am a certified medical assistant. So yeah, I work in the medical field. I'm a certified medical assistant. It took me a total of almost two years to complete. Um, the classes I actually went in to college maybe a couple of months after me graduating so I graduated in 2016 from college from getting my um, medical assistance associates so yeah that's what I do for a living next question biggest regrets I really don't have any biggest regrets because you only live once you live and you learn so I don't really have any big regrets I didn't well I wouldn't call it a regret but you know different choices you know I should have made in life and that is you know not having kids early not saying I had kids early early because I didn't have my kids early I actually got pregnant while I was in college so I wasn't a high school, you know, pregnant kid or middle school pregnant kid nowadays. So, but you know, I did have my child before the age of 19. So I wasn't able to experience like that party life, you know, me going out with my fr friends and stuff like that. Because of course I became a mother early, which I'm, I'm fine with. I love my kids dearly, but that's something I probably should have done differently. But, you know, me, I want to be hot in the drawers. So, next question. Favorite food? Baby, seafood all day. 
Give me some crab, some shrimp, some corn, some potatoes. Your girl loves seafood. If I can have seafood every day, all day, I will have seafood every day, all day. Like, hands down, seafood. So, yeah. My favorite food is seafood. Dream vacation. One of my dream vacations, I always say it, but I do want to go to Bora Bora. I want to have the experience of, you know, swimming in the ocean. Yeah, the ocean with the pigs, the clear blue water, you know. But it's some other, not dream vacations. I wouldn't mind going to Dubai. I wouldn't mind going to Bali. I wouldn't mind going to Greece. Like, Greece is actually beautiful. It's a couple of places, you know. I wouldn't mind going. So, that'd be on my bucket list. As they say, you manifest. And I manifest and one day I'll be in one of those places I just listed. For real. Next question. How many siblings do you have? I have four siblings. I have three sisters and one brother. I'm actually the middle child on both sides, mom and dad. Um, so yeah, I have four siblings, two sisters on my mom's side, and a brother and a sister on my dad's side. So I have a total of four siblings. Next question. What are your biggest pet peeves? I got a lot. But my main pet peeves, don't tell me you're going to do something and then you don't do it. Cause like why why would you tell me you're gonna do something and you got me waiting and then you end up not doing it? Like, no. That's like one of my biggest, biggest pet peeves. It's like you promising me something and then you're not coming through with your promise. Like, don't do that. Don't. Next question. Well, I wouldn't say this is a question. Tell us something about you that we don't know. As I said before, I'm a little shy. I like being in the camera, but I'm kind of a shy person. I might not seem like a shy person, but I'm a shy person. So, yeah, that's something you don't know about me. Next question. Dogs or cats? We're going to go with dogs. I love dogs. I'm a dog dog person. I didn't have dogs as a kid. I didn't have dogs in my adult life. But cats, baby, no. Mm -mm. I can't stand cats. Cats are nasty. Like, cats are really nasty. And then my grandma, she had this allergic reaction. They call it the cat scratch. Anytime she was around a cat or if a cat is in her presence or if a person that was around a cat is in her presence, it's like she break out in hives and then she you know starts scratching and I think that's what it's called it's called cat scratch and then my mom used to um used to do home health or whatever and she had this these patients with well, yeah these patients it was sisters that stayed in the house baby they had this big they had a lot of cats but they had this big this one big fat cat like what you doing with this fat cat like you don't do nothing cats are just lazy and then they be sitting up there crawling on her counter, her stove. You got poop here. And I, no. Dogs all day, every day. We gonna go, we just gonna say dogs. Like cats are nasty. Cats are very, very nasty. Next question. Favorite artist. I don't have a favorite artist because I listen to a lot of people. But right now, in 2022 we're gonna say glorilla right now gorilla is eating f r e e you go free a gorilla at this moment we're gonna say gorilla right now so do i want to do this question no, i'm not gonna do this question sorry but we're gonna go with this is probably gonna be my last question for this video which is R&B hip hop slash rap I'm gonna go with both I'm gonna go with both 
Because you know how you had those moods where you just want to listen to your own music. And then you got those moments where you want to just be fired up. So yeah, I'm going to go with both. R&B and rap. Um, I don't know, but lately I've been jamming Betty Wright. It's the song that's on TikTok. Don't blame Mr. Charlotte. Mr. Charlotte is just the man and he is. Yeah, I've been listening to that song. I don't know what it is, but lately I've been on my R&B stuff, right? But... Like I said, you have your days where you just want to listen to your R&B. And you got some of them days where you just want to, you know, rock on out. So, this is going to be the end of this Q&A. Hopefully, you all was able to get to know me. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. If it's something else that you want to know about me, let me know in the comments. And I'll probably do like an updated Q&A. Just let me know what you want to know, and I will let you know, especially if it's not personal or anything like that. But let's go ahead and end this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I will see y'all in the next vloggy vlog.